All right, so I'm making a solar air heater or furnace, whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically, I got the back of the <clears throat> the back of this is uh, two feet by four feet, and it's a half inch thick. And then the frame around the sides, like this stuff here, is one inch by four inches. And basically, what I did was is I got some uh, pretty hard uh, insulation board and I put it down and glued it to the wood here and then I put some because uh, you want to retain heat so basically I put some uh, some screen down stapled it down and I got all this these cans and stuff on here because I'm holding this stuff down so the glue uh, sticks correctly but yeah and then I spray painted everything black obviously for uh for once again for heat absorption but um yeah so i got a bunch of other stuff i gotta do but i'll uh i'll get back on this and let you know how it goes all right well now i put the fans in place i put one facing that way and one facing this way because my what my plan is is to have basically it Whatever's down lower, I'm going to have suck, like, out of my garage into the heater. And then it's going to heat it up even more and then blow it back into the garage. That's hopefully the plan. What I ended up having to do is cut this stuff a little bit wider so this would fit. And then actually put... On this one, I had to put some insulation because it didn't have this when I flipped it on the other side. So I had... This was down on the other side, so it was covering it so the, f the fan would spin fine. But this side, I had to put actually little pieces of insulation, and then I glued it all in so it spins freely. But, so anyway, I got some more stuff I got to do, but I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. All right, now I, I got some oval duct that I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to spray paint them black and put them in the heater to help hold energy and produce some more heat. Installed them and freshly painted them, so looking good. All right, well, here's the solar collector pretty much finished. Just got to hook up the panel. Um, I just what I, what I was gonna do is I was gonna I put some holes in here and I was gonna. Um, use some screws, but even the screws, it's in how hard acrylic is, it felt like it's gonna break. So, got one screw in over there, and then I just used uh, this Gorilla Glue clear stuff, and then just put stuff all around here underneath. So, should seal it up pretty good, but I'll get back to you. All right, well, I just drilled all the holes through the acrylic sheet that I have here. So I'm going to put screws in there. And then I'm going to hook it up to the solar panel and see if this is going to work. I'll be right back. Alright everyone, this is going to be the first test of my solar air furnace that I made, okay? And the only issue is, well, it's not hooked up to the, uh, to the garage right there yet. But I figured, well, obviously I want to test it out before I do that. But um, the other problem I ran into is the solar panel 
that I was going to use to power these fans here. One sucking air in from the garage, putting it through the panel, and then one blowing it back into the garage. So, but anyway, as you can see, I mean, it's, it is freezing out. But, I don't know, this solar panel, this solar air heater will actually work easily without a fan because heat rises, so. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how cold it is if I put it on this piece of wood. I don't know if you can see that. It's 28, or 21.8 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now, okay? No. Here's the the holes I made in the back by where the fans were. And the reason I did this instead of just making big holes is because I wanted to slow down the air as much as possible so you get the most heat, you know? So let's see what we got. It's as I said it's 21 degrees out here. Cross your fingers. Okay, that's one problem, the holes are small, so it's hard to get the laser in here to actually get the damn temperature. Huh. Well, there's one reading. 127 so it's well over a hundred degrees hotter inside the box than outside which is incredible Let's see if we can get anything higher I don't think they'll well, we get a 130 there if I can get this laser in there it was 136.4 My laser keeps hitting the outside of the box, but inside it looks, I mean, it's 131.7. I mean, that's pretty incredible. That's what, 100 and, 110 degrees difference? So, yeah, I'll probably make another video once I hook it up to the garage and stuff, so I don't know, but <laughs> over 100 degrees difference, that is fantastic. All right, well, it's finally actually sunny out. So, let's see. So, just about 40 degrees out. So yeah, it's uh, about 40 degrees and I think the hottest it got was 145, so that's 105 degrees. More than the outside temperature. It's pretty awesome. I mean, yeah, 100 degrees hotter. I'm, I'm super happy with that. <laughs>